Hi, this is Anita from the Dusty Roads podcast. You know, whenever you think about China, most people think about the Great Wall. And if you're interested in traveling to China, or you're just interested in China in general, I have a book that I've written called A Bus on a Dusty Road. And in there, I tell many stories about some of my experiences in China. If you're looking for an in-depth insider's knowledge of China and some stories that you will find nowhere else because they're personal stories, which are just basically related to me and to my life that include with it some life lessons, then I'd like to recommend you check out the book, A Bus on a Dusty Road. You can find the book on Amazon in an ebook and also a paperback edition. I will put a link for you below in the description for you to be able to find it. And also you can find it on our blog, A Bus on a Dusty Road, which is also part of this podcast. You know, one of the things about China, when most people think about China, what is the number one thing they think about? Of course, everyone thinks about the Great Wall. And if you've never been to the Great Wall, visiting the Great Wall is a magnificent place to visit. I feel like I've been lucky because I've seen the Great Wall, the tourist section of the wall, and I've also been out to the very, very, you know, western part of China, and I've seen parts of the Great Wall as I've traveled on the train there, and I've seen, you know, the Great Wall as, you know, parts of it as it's crumbling down, and it was kind of like in the fields out there, and you could just see how magnificent this wall was and how far it stretched and how far it went. One of the questions that a lot of people like to ask is like, how much does the Great Wall of the China weigh? And I, I think, you know, part of the reason why they ask that is because it's such a magnificent structure. It is it's such a long, long wall. And like I said, when you are traveling on the train in China and you see the parts of the Great Wall out there in the distance, you really realize how far this wall stretched throughout all of China. You know, some facts about the Great Wall is that it has billions and billions and billions of bricks. You know, there's no exact number of exactly how many bricks it has. But, you know, there's billions and billions and billions of bricks. So, you know, when they you begin to estimate how much it weighs, you have to look at the bricks plus the cubic feet, plus, you know, each pound for the bricks approximately. So it comes down to the Great Wall probably weighs somewhere around 40 over 41 million tons i mean that's huge if you think about that 41 million tons that's huge that's a huge structure that weighs quite a bit that has been man-made upon this earth it is probably the heaviest continuous structure on the earth you know an average egyptian pyramid on the other hand weighs between 2.5 to 15 tons but the great wall weighs far more than that it weighs 41, over, over, I should say, over 41 million tons. So you can see that even compared to the pyramids, which are in Egypt, is, is nothing. It's just a small part of the Great Wall, but the Great Wall would weigh far more than any of them. The other thing that's so magnificent about the Great Wall is it's so well built that this wall has lasted so long that the materials have withstood the test of time. What's really interesting when you walk the Great Wall is in many parts of it where they have the older parts of it, especially the steps are so uneven. You think, oh, these people didn't know how to build an even step. They didn't understand the principle of you can walk better if you have an even step. And some of them might be like a foot high and another one's a couple inches. And so you have these steps that are completely and totally uneven with no sense of the architecture for them. You know, it's estimated that at least 400,000 people or more died building the wall. So, you know, the wall really is not only this magnificent structure, but it's also a place where many people died actually building that wall itself. That's what makes it so magnificent to be able to go to the wall, walk along the wall, um, to see this wall, because it is just truly one of the most magnificent man-made structures that was ever built upon this earth. The feat of building this during that time when they had no machinery, it was built by hand, when the stones had to be cut and dragged up there onto that hill, all without any type of real machinery, it is truly a magnificent wonder that it was ever built and built the way it is. It's an engineering marvel. You know, it's really an engineering marvel that it's been able to still withstand the test of time throughout all of these years. It, you know, really became a defense for China. 
it's a great historical legacy or a great historical wall. So if you have the chance to go to China to see the Great Wall of China, it is really worth going there to see the Great Wall. It was you know, of great economic significance. There was a lot of trade routes along there. It allowed for exchange of goods and culture and knowledge between the East and West. It was a, it's really a symbol of endurance because it's been able to withstand all the time, all the wars, all the political upheavals, everything that's happened in China, the Great Wall has been able to withstand. You know, it's a symbol of endurance that, you know, throughout all the elements, through, you think about the wind, the rain, the hail, the, you know, all the things that have happened, this wall has been able to withstand them all. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's one of the seven wonders of the world. It's, even though it's a man-made wonder, it's still considered one of the seven wonders of the world. And it really is a um, emblem of unity and strength. It really shows the strength of the Chinese people to be able to build this wall. So the Great Will Wall of China is really a great wall because it transcends everything else. And it, it is a magnificent structure that is worth going to see. So if you have the chance or opportunity to go to China, we recommend that you go visit the Great Wall of China. Go there and see it. It truly is a wonder to see. And if you want to be able to get an in-depth cultural look about China, Asia, and be able to hear some experiences you'll hear nowhere else, and we recommend that you you know try listening, buying the book A Bus on a Dusty Road, where we tell you know a lot of experiences that we had within China, people we've met along the way. I tell of this great trip where we went overland into Tibet and China and about some of the people we met there in that part of China. I tell other experiences of people I met along the way throughout my journey in China. So if you're really looking for a book that would kind of give you an in-depth, up-close, personal look about Asia and China, you know, A Bus on a Dusty Road is a book you might want to consider. We'll put a link in the description so that you'll be able to uh, find it on Amazon or on our blog. We'll also put a link on this podcast for our blog on how much does the Great Wall of China weigh in case you'd like to go on there and be able to find out more about the Great Wall of China. Thank you so much for listening. We really do appreciate you, our community. We know without you, this would not be possible. We appreciate you listening to us and joining with us to strive to live your life as a global citizen. Thank you for your time. And thank you for our team who helped put this together, especially Rico. We appreciate all of you. Thank you.